Okay guys, so this is something that you might come across and that is where one day your um, your quad is quite happy at DFUing so you can update the firmware and then the next day it doesn't. Now I'm going to click this in. I don't know if you can hear that clicking but that's clicked in, held in. And now when we look across over we can see nothing's happening and in a few moments the computer's going to throw an error and say that it does not recognize this now i've updated this before there's the error and i've updated this before like this and it's worked i think i've even shown people uh, how to update with this and it's worked but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be working now now you might first assume that it's going to be maybe the drivers but on further inspection which was to basically get another board exactly the same this is they're both uh, Matek F405 STD standards I hope that means uh, or anything other than, you know, an STD. <laughs> so here we go. This is another board, exactly the same. So it's just still got some of the connector wires on. So I'm going to click that down. I'm going to plug it in. Oh, didn't click it down hard enough. Let me just pull that out and just... It's a bit right by the edge here, so I'm just going to click that down quite firmly. And then push that in. Have we gone to DFU? No, I can't seem to press that in firm enough. Ah, there we go. No, it hasn't worked on here. Now, this is not because of this. This is because of the way I'm pressing this in. And I hope maybe that's what's going on on the other one as well. So let me just keep pressing that in a bit and just trying to shove that in. Okay, so this one's gone into DFU now, but I do not like the way these wires are. So I'm going to just undo that. It goes the way the wires are there on the back. I'm not comfortable with leaving that like that. They may not have been touching, but I just don't like the idea of that. So I'm going to plug that back in there now. And no, it hasn't worked me pushing that in. So I'm going to once again put quite a bit of pressure on this to try and push it in and there we go we're in dfu mode now i'm hoping that maybe this uh this is what's going on with this but this can be like that um you might find it difficult sometimes to plug in i mean look at the look at the gap difference there look that you've got to try and push that down seems a bit daft really but well, for somebody maybe with bigger fingers. So I'm going to quite forcibly push this down then. And no, but that happened several times with the other one. So I'm going to just keep trying this a few times. I'd much prefer it to, you know, just work. I'm trying to push as squarely on it as I possibly can. And then... Nope, it's not having it on here. So all I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this apart now and get it out to see, you know, if I can get this to work. And it's not, it's just not having it. All right. So before it comes to much frustration, that, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've taken most of everything off anyway. The only thing that's connected to it that could be affecting it is on the 4.5 volt. I've got my um, little nano receiver here. And on the 4.5 volt, I mean, maybe that's what it is. It's just pulling the power down a bit too much. Um, I don't see why that should be the case. Or it could be that the cable is just not good enough. But like I say, we just saw that it worked on this one. But of course, this one doesn't have anything connected to it there may be wires on it but they're not doing anything they're not making a circuit and i don't want them to make a circuit i'm 
be good, probably wise to take those off. Alright, I'm gonna do that bit now, off camera. Okay, so I've taken this off and uh, I did just test it. I know the outcome, but I'm sorry, I had some uh, show on in the background and of course that'll be no good for the old YouTuber, uh, whatchamacallit. So let's just press that in nice and firm, you can hear it click, look. And on we go and we get our DFU, which is not surprising really. Uh, two reasons. One, like I said, I just tried it. I knew the one because now it doesn't have the um, receiver connected, drawing the current receiver might uh, draw. It's happier to go into the DFU. So that's something you might want to look out for if you do build. And then for some reason, I mean, mine was working before with all this stuff connected, but now for some reason it doesn't want to work. But never mind. We're going to continue now with the uh, flashing of the new software, which is the iNav 4, so we can put it onto this. Okay guys, so now we've got this uh, still plugged into the computer, we're going to get this wire in there, just get a couple of them all, just to make sure. And there we go, we're straight in DFU. So, and that's, that, that's what it is, we're using the same cable and everything, it's, um, yeah, well, for me, on this, it could be, you know, an issue that you've had yourself before in the past. Uh, and if you have, how did you do with it? But that's that's what I found with that. And I'm hoping that will go across other flight controllers as well and do the same on other builds. But I'll, I'll, I'll test it first. I'll try and use the 4.5 volts again and see if it does it again. It could be down to this cable. This cable may not be um, suitable. Everything else that's five, five volts on here um, you don't get any power. The only way you get power on the flight controller is with the um, 4.5 volts when you're plugging in with the USB. You only get 5 volts on other things like for the GPS and now the receiver's not on um, because I've put it on a 5 volt supply instead which is fine but if it can't be powered none of these things will be powered um, via the USB, it's just that board now being powered and it's happy to VFU then. So if you are pulling your hair out, you are getting frustrated as I did, because you know, it's all right when you get it all going, everything's working nice and you gotta take it apart again. Um, but hey, that's just all part and parcel of this and it's part of the fun really. And uh, figuring them out and knowing what to do next time. So what I'll do now is I'll put a bit of flight video up. Okay guys, so as you can see at the start of this, um, some people, when they put their kit together, they, uh, it looks nice, and then when they put some throttle on it, it goes to the garbage. Uh, you know, give it some power, it goes to the garbage. It seems to be with me, what happens in mine is um, sometimes, not all the time, but you connect it and it looks like garbage, but as soon as you give it some throttle and then switch it off, it stays looking pretty good again. So, just pointing that part out there, I mean, I'm just going to stick a little bit of relaxing music on in the background it's no great flight it's just around the building and uh, i'll see you in the next video